Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC is right around the corner, and news publications a lot cooler than me got a first-hand look at a whole bunch of information for Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC. Well, right now, we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay. This gameplay comes to us from Daily Motion. There is a Spanish article. This is Pokemon hype, all right? Leave me alone. There's a Spanish article on Pokemon DLC, Isle of Armor, and uh, admittedly, I don't speak Spanish. I have no idea what they're saying in the article, but we can definitely look at the article because it has five minutes of chopped up gameplay and see a whole bunch of stuff that perhaps we missed in previous trailers. They have dynamic. Oh, okay, great. Oh, every time we pause, we just get that on screen. Oh, great. This is running out on the beach. In the background, we can see the large tree and the hexagonal island, and we're right in front of the water tower that you would take Kubfu to. We can see that the trainer is already in the dojo garb. Starmie and Staryu's appearing on the beach. Kinglers. I'm noticing that the Pokemon are spawning on the side. There is a wild choodle appearing in a cave. This wild choodle is level 60 and Cinderace is level 60 going in line with the video that I just put out talking about the dynamic scaling of Pokemon levels. Yeah, look at that double kick. Oh, you're not hitting abilities, score bunny. No, you aren't. It's not a score bunny, is it? Nope, Cinderace, that's it. Okay, and this appears to be the top of the mountain near the Dark Tower. And we could see Skarmory appearing. This is probably as soon as you exit the cave. And yep, right up there, that's the entrance to the tower. This is also where I believe Magna Zone is going to be appearing. Ah, oh, this place is looking dope. I like how it kind of sections off like that. Is this a Shinx appearing in the grass? It is. Look at that bad boy. Oh, it's raining right now. So does that mean that we have dynamic weather confirmed for the Isle of Armor? That depending on your date, the weather is going to change? Maybe. Maybe not. Heading up to one of the raid dens and overlooking the ocean. This is presumably much earlier as soon as we arrive to the island because the trainer was walking up to the dojo, not in the dojo garb yet. And it appears as though there is... Is that... Is that a Galarian Diglett? With the little metal hairs? I mean, not Galarian, uh, Alolan. Yeah, that's an Alolan Diglett. Look at that! Huh. That's neat. All right. Stop everything. It appears as though right behind the professor's lab, there's a building that looks like a train station, but we can see a giant Corviknight fly sign on it, and the player is gonna take a train to it. Okay, so you have to take a train to this isolated station, and this isolated station, assumably this is gonna, oh, yep, there it is, there it is. That's how, that's how you get over. Wow, look at that. It's a train station to a Corviknight station to another Corviknight station on the Isle of Armor. That's pretty neat. Oh, we actually get to see the Corviknight landing. That's pretty awesome. IGN did say we get a whole bunch of like sweeping panoramic scapes of everything. Oh, hello there. They are saying some stuff. Uh, someone did translate this saying, let me take a look at your Pokedex. So presumably, as soon as we get to the island is when we get the Isle of Armor decks. We know that the Isle of Armor decks is going to be separate from the traditional Pokedex because it has new entries. Now, do keep in mind that you most likely, like 99.9% .9 chance, you do not need to complete the Isle of Armor decks for the Shiny Charm because the Shiny Charm is based on the, in, on the Galar decks, right? People ask some weird questions sometimes. Yeah, Pokedex. Thank you. Uh, I want to translate that. Uh, Google. Si ha anadido la Pokedex. The armor Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Yes! Translation. Woof for the win. <laughs> All right. So this is. Now, we did hear that there's going to be three trials, right? There's three trials in order, I think, for you to get Cub Fu or the G-Max Soup or something like that. So this is supposedly, as soon as you leave the dojo and outside are three members of the dojo and the three Galarian Slowpoke that we've seen in several different screenshots and cutscenes and trailers and stuff like that. 
And the three of them are just running off. Okay, cool. Maybe this is what they were talking about in the challenge that was similar to Sun and Moons. Like, you have to go hunt down those three Galarian Slowpokes. Now this is interesting, we can see Cub Fu is level 50 and Magikarp is level 60, but we don't know the Pokemon in the party. If there are level 60 Pokemon in the party, then Magikarp being level 60 makes sense. I don't know any of these words. This is the first scene again. This is not the first scene again. Okay, we're walking up, walking up. You're gonna enter the tower? Enter the tower. Show us the tower. Show us the inside. Nope, instead we get Toxtricity, who's level 60, taking on a Slowpoke. I'm gonna presume that even though that Cub Fu was level 50, there were Pokemon in the party. <sighs> Slowpoke, Wild Slowpoke has a berry. So unexpected. I think it's hysterical that during this provided by Nintendo demo, that uh, that they still have the tech speed on fast. And here we have Galarian Slowbro at a Poke Camp. Yeah, attack that thing. There seems to be a random construction worker. That might be, oh, here's the Rodon bike with the new particle effects that remind me a lot of Super Paper Mario, that's for sure. Some new fishing spot. I know Reversal's gonna be very excited for that. Level 60 Cinderace, who's taken damage from his battle before. Yeah, that makes sense. What are you showing us, buddy? Oh, it's a different Diglett. This could be the challenge that was similar to the Sun and Moon challenge. Also, why are there Alolan Diglets in essentially the Isle of Man? Is there a volcano there? Was was the, the Dark Tower built on what was previously a volcano? Back to the camp. Slowpoke is very slowly walking around, doing his thing. Great quality content there, Daily Motion. That's the end of it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Honestly, we don't see that much that's brand new. And we can see a lot of co uh, corroborating information along with the IGN article. Oh, hang on. You see the trainer is kind of waving themselves because it's hot? That's neat. New idle animations. But the Diglets appearing randomly, that definitely sounds like what they were referring to as far as one of the Sun and Moon-like challenges. Great. Love it. We do see exactly how we are going to transport to there. Uh, we don't know if we need to go to the Wedgehurst station. That is where we first saw the rival and who told us about the DLC. So maybe from the Wedgehurst station is how we're going to access that. Or maybe once we go to the Wedgehurst station, we're going to be able to fly there anytime. I'm curious about the fast travel. Like, getting back there and to and from there, is it going to be easy or is it going to be a pain in the butt? We do learn about the Pokedex as soon as you arrive on the island, which is fantastic. We don't know how many Pokemon are in the Isle of Armor Pokedex, which, assumingly, there's going to be some from the mainland. As we saw Wingle already, nope, Pelipper, we saw Pelipper already, and Kingler, who were both on the main aisle, so maybe once you start up the game, it's like, hey, here's your Pokedex. You currently have most of it done because you finished the Galarian decks. I'm so curious if there's gonna be more Galarian Pokemon. There has to be, has to be. You're gonna really give us DLC, and all it has is literally Three, four Pokemon, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Cubfu, Urshifu. So weird. All right, well, guys, there's a lot of news coming out, and I'm going to keep you updated. Be sure to hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.